Hey everybody, welcome back to Training Battles. Hope you're all having a great day. We are going to jump right in here with our good friend Matthew Jackson's team yet again. It's been a fun team. Um, found out in last episode and the episode before, Assault Vest, Earth Power, Rayquaza is a problem that I need to do a better job of uh, selecting my Pokemon against. And I'm just going to pretty much anticipate that whenever I play X-Ray from now on. Because that's, yeah, the fact that both X-Ray teams we've played had that. Um, but today we find Rayogre with a Coco Melodic Incineroar and Crobat. Okay, also, yeah, I remember playing this kind of comp earlier and not. I want to bring Trick Room. Yeah, I, I kind of want to bring Trick Room in the back. And also, it gives me the Wide Guard. And it sounds like I should just be leading like Rayquaza Lele because it's just a fast comp that'll get a lot of damage off. And if they're wanting to. Especially if I remove the right Quaza. If I remove the right Quaza, that'll be huge. But we'll see if they lead Coco, if they even bring it. But Ogre right Quaza, I can see a case for Crobat. I'm not too worried about. Not terribly worried about Incineroar or Melodic. You got a lot of ground on hate between Melodic, Kyrie, or Rayquaza. So let's lock in. Let's see how this goes. Cause like after looking at his team report again on the matchups, it sounds like Lele Ogre might be the best choice to lead off with. It's just I don't I hate when they lead Coco, just because then they can like Coco and Cinderella would be really annoying. But I guess you go Ogre Melodic. They bring Melodic. And I don't even. I wonder if this is a Scarf Ogre actually. I like think about it. That'd be really annoying. Good thing is Lele scarfed. Yeah, Lele's definitely scarfed there. Um, yep, it is scarf. Okay, that's cool. But like I said, my Lele is faster, and that's all I care about. So there was a scarf. We have scarf ogre that probably just wants thinks they can just switch in Rayquaza. Melodic's icy wind worries me a little bit. I wonder if they're gonna switch in something into the ogre slot. I'm gonna protect Rayquaza this turn. And just psychic the Kyogre. Melodic switches. Is this Rayquaza? And Cineroar. Okay. I feel pretty okay with that. Let's see. They're not switching Ogre, so I'll get this Psychic off. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to go for Origin Pulse or Water Spout. Like, I hope they wouldn't go for Water Spout. Or they might just go for Ice Beam. Also, Psy Shock could be really useful right now. And that does do over half. Okay, there's the O Pulse. Probably knocks out Lele, but Lele dodges. Alright, that's, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, I'm gonna switch in. I'm gonna preserve Rayquaza and switch in Groudon. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Kyogre might just switch out. I guess that's the only thing that worries me is Ogre switching out. I should go into stack and just Psychic. Yeah, because whatever comes in, I want to maybe potentially get Trick Room up. I might just lose. There's a good chance I'm just going to lose Lele here. So it would be really nice to threaten Trick Room. Okay, they take that pretty well. Oh, it just goes for Snarl, which <laughs> Lele. Lele is super, uh, super nimble right now. Uh, I don't know if I even go for Trick Room yet. Hmm, I can't knock out Melodic. Melodic can just Scald Stack, and that could be really bad.
At least we see Snarl and not like something dumb. You can get a high roll here. Nope. Definitely couldn't. <laughs> no berry. Oh no! Lele, why did you do that? Ugh. Lele. You're killing me. You snarl. Yeah. Okay, this one hits. Ugh, Lele, you're killing me. Nah, actually, this could be worse. Like, I'm just gonna go. I think I just go into Rayquaza. I don't have been a bad choice either. But the good thing is this Melodic is like super threatened. I'm just gonna Mega Evolve, Dragon Ascent, Incineroar, Psychic, Melodic. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. The problem here though is if I lose Lele, that kind of, I'm gonna have to switch Lele out this next turn, most likely, even if it means get, sacrificing Groudon. So I'll knock out Melodic here, unless we see a Protect, which we do. Let's see if he just snarls. Okay. Hit this Incineroar. With the Life Orb, it should do a pretty good chunk. But he might just snarl or Flare Blitz Lele. Oh, is that a crit? Oh my goodness, that was not... That was unexpected. Uh, I want to look at that. If I, uh, dude, if that was, like, totally normal, then that's Lake's Life Orb incredible. <laughs> uh, wow, that knocked out? Why did that knock out? I'm so confused about that, like, okay, I'm gonna switch out Lele. I guess I could also just double Rayquaza, like, Melodic, once I get rid of this Rayquaza, like, that, the last of his team is just, like, a piece of cake, I think. Psychic, <sighs> take it out. I'm just, I don't want this Rayquaza to outspeed my, me and knock me out. I'm gonna double Rayquaza. So I'm locked into the Psychic. I can E-speed it, because it is in the air. I know Melodic just protected, but I just really, really don't. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, that was a mistake. I knew it. Like, he's just gonna protect probably Icy Wind. I should have knocked out Melodic. If I just knock out, yeah, because if I just knock out Melodic, Groudon comes in, and that's pretty much it. Like, Kyogre can't do anything. <sighs> I gotta switch Lele out now. Yeah, like I, I have to switch out Lele. Okay. Um, I could protect, but I actually rather get Lele back in. So I'm gonna E speed Rayquaza. Cause I just wanna get I just wanna get break any potential sash and switch Lele out into Groudon. Because Lele, Lele is my key to beating that Kyogre if I have to come up against Ogre Rayquaza. And I get I need that Psychic Train to protect myself from from the E-Speed. Yeah, I should have went after that Melodic. Like, I was like, because he just protected. Like, it made sense to protect Icy Wind, so I kind of goofed that. I was just worried about him knocking out Rayquaza, which wouldn't have been a bad thing, because I knock out Melodic, Groudon comes in, sets up Burnt Sun, and then, like, Kyogre can't water, use a water move. I do get the E-Speed off, at least. Oh, he has Iron Head. Well, <laughs> that's not going to do much. Icy Wind, yeah. I'm okay with that. My Groudon's slower than this team. Um... Bring in the Lele. He can't E speed the Lele. Uh, I think I just D Gleam. No, I have to Psychic. 
So what can they do here? They can protect Melodic. No, because if they... It's, it's a regular Kyogre. If it comes in, it can't... If it comes in, it, it can't... Like, use Water... It's not going to get the Drizzle up. So I think I have to lock into Psychic. I really want a D-Gleam, like, to be safe, and then just protect Groudon. No, I don't want to protect it. I'll just Earth Power. I think Rayquaza, because I don't want to get hit with an Icy Wind. So I'll just Earth Power Rayquaza, in case he switches that out. Yeah, like that. D-Gleam Earth Power might just knock out Kyogre with the range it's at. Yeah, that's fine. So I think, I, yeah, I think Dazzling Gleam was the right was the right choice here. So yeah, they need they needed to make that play, and then Earth Power knocks it out. Yeah, they needed to make that play in order to so they could get Rayquaza in, and then be able to knock out my Groudon Kyogre. But fortunately, we made that we we got the right call there. I mean, Earth, in Earth Prime Rayquaza, there's like not, there's really no reason not to. Like, there's not, I don't, even if he doesn't switch, like Dazzling Gleam just picks up Rayquaza anyways. So like that was definitely the best, best thing I could have done there. Um, I'll just overheat Rayquaza. Gleam picks up the rest of the team. Rep picks up everything else here. It probably just picks up Rayquaza. We already saw Protect, so he's not a Salt Vest. He had to be like super bulky or Roselia very. Which, there it is. I think in, in Overheat's gonna. Overheat will take that out. Like, unless I miss. Probably should have erupt John for Eruption. Because he's just gonna knock out Lay. If I miss this, that could be. That could be really bad. Okay, we hit. This should knock out. From this range, yeah. <sighs> All right, that wor that worked out. So yeah, if he had stayed in and attacked, that's right, Quaza, because that Roselli Berry. And if my Groudon didn't get icy winded, I would have felt okay attacking with Groudon, but and like or just side kicking. But I just I needed to knock out that melodic because I could not like like I absolutely could not let. Lele get hit with a Icy Wind, that would have been... Especially with that Rayquaza still around. Alright, so let's jump back in. Yeah, that, that was a... That was a tough one. That was one where Stack actually was not super useful. Because it just died to Sculpt. After Lele gave him a lot of the boost, that was annoying. So, off a Moonblast it makes sense, but because uh, it's like a 30% chance, but off a Psychic it's a 10. I think it's a 10. I'm pretty sure. It could be a 20. I don't really know. But we'll find our next opponent. And, alright, so we got the Kyogre Evotol team. Oh man, but Gengar, Whimsicott, and Terrakion. So he's got the Beat Up and the Shadow Trap, Shadow Tag, and Encore Disable shenanigans. Single stack lay they crowd on. Yeah, I could see that. So how do I wanna lead here? Might let the lead Lele. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Like getting this lead right. Like I don't want to lead Groudon. I gotta stop Trick Room for sure. Let's lead the stacks, Smeargle. Let's go Groudon lately. I want to threaten Trick Room. Yeah, I want to threaten Trick Room here. I force him to stop Trick Room so then maybe Smeargle can do something. I guess they could be double taunt with like 
No, yeah, no, because Gengar's probably gonna have disables its third move. And then Whimsicott will probably be Tailwind, Encore, Taunt. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, that's So I think I switch into Lele. I probably just go for Spore into the Gengar. Because if anything, they want to stop Trick Room. They kind of, they're kind of forced to stop because like Whimsicott probably has Taunt and Gengar probably has Disable, and I have Follow Me. Once they taunt Smear Roll, that would suck. Oh man, this combo is so scary to play around sometimes, especially when I'm not like comfortable with the team. I mean, my I would expect. Gengar to maybe just protect here. <laughs> That'd be epic if they like sludge bomb taunted the the stack. That would be pretty impressive. But then you get spored. So Mega Evolve. Yeah, there's the taunt, but no protect. Double. Oh, it's double taunt. Oh, wow, they are double taunt. And no Mega Evolution. I'm glad, uh... Yeah, I would expect Gengar to have Disable. Um... Cool. Yeah, that would be their Mega, though. So, I'll Psychic... Probably Geng... Mm. So, Wimsicott could become a pain. Although, with Psychic Train, its Prankster ability is pretty useless, other than getting a Tailwind up. I'll just Psychic Gengar. I don't think he has a switch into Psychic. Uh, Evil Toll would be. No, it just goes for Tailwind. So no Mega Evolution. Let's see if he has a Sash. Thing is that, yeah. Oh, this is a Scarf Gengar. Right? No, yeah. Yeah, that he doesn't have a Mega. That's a Scarf Gengar right there. Huh. Well, that was that's interesting. Oh, give me that evasion. Nice. So, what comes in here? Kyogre. Might have. Uh, I think we've got gets role play. Oh, I bring. Oh, track down. I want to go for the. I want to go for the beat up play. I'm assuming. And then rock slide. I would guess. That was a Scarf Gengar. Hmm. He went for Scarf Taunt, too. Yep, there's the beat up. And unfortunately. Uh, actually, is beat up. No, beat up's not a prankster priority, but I know you, even in Psychic Train, you can like use priority, move, priority moves onto your. Uh, onto your uh, partner. So even if it was priority, he goes for Rock Slide. Nice! Job Smeargle. Let me get this big psychic off. And you're gone. You're gone. Let's see what their last is. I wonder if Whimsicott has something like. <laughs> Guys, Moody is so dumb. Like, super dumb. Because now I can just follow me with plus six evasion. There's Kyogre. Uh, Worry Seed is an option. So we've seen Beat Up, Tailwind, and Taunt. They might have Encore. I would think like Encore. Yeah, I would feel like it has Encore. I'm gonna sack stack because it's kind of useless here, and I'm just gonna spore. Like, honestly, with plus six evasion, if it hits me, then freaking so be it. It was meant to be. I'm just gonna go for the spore here. I want to scout out for any alley to forfeit. That's fair enough. That didn't go super well for them. Well, they were double taunt though, but they were taunt scarf. 
so this is really interesting. I'm glad they just like the Gengar went for the. Oh, I'm glad the Whimsicott went for the Smeargle, and the Lele was able to block that, so that worked out really well. But all right, that'll be. Yeah, that'll be it for this episode, guys. We actually picked up two wins this time, so that's awesome. I almost goofed that second one by going for overheat, because I think Eruption would have taken out that Rayquaza. But yeah, either way, we got the win. That's all that mattered. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll cut it off here so the episode doesn't get too terribly long. And we'll bring this team back for a couple more episodes, and then we'll jump to something completely new. So... Alright, have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching. See ya.